What's going on? So we're going to do a book review today, and this is the Cinematic Art of Starcraft. This is a 288-page book. There will be tons of one- to two-page spreads. And, you know, as always, watch this on your TV, because phone ain't going to do it justice. I mean, there's a beautiful two-page spread there. And, yeah, like, I love Blizzard, and this came out in, will you fucking focus? There we go, 2018, so this is only a year old. And this is a heavy-ass book for being 288 pages. So, there's your table of contents. Starcraft and the Brood War, Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm, Legacy of the Void. So... This is strictly an art run. We're just, I'm showing you art shots and shit. Not going to show you any of the text because, you know, that takes forever. But I will say, there is a lot of text in here. There are quotes scattered throughout like that. But, you know, you came for the art easily. But yeah, I do like StarCraft. I do like Blizzard. Although I've never played any of the games because they never really like I'm not into RTS games basically I don't like RTS I don't like top-down viewing because I have astigmatism and if you don't know what astigmatism is I'll show you let me see if I can do this okay you see the book and how blurry it is that's astigmatism yeah that's basically what I got going on so, some stuff from far away, if it's far away, it's kind of blurry around the edges, or it's just blurry altogether, but since I got, you know, a 4K TV now, I don't have that problem anymore, or as badly. <laughs> so, that's nice. But yeah, so this is a nice book, and it's going to be two vids, at least two, because it's so many pages, and... You know, to do it all in one video wouldn't really work out as well. So, yeah. But I did catch up on StarCraft in, uh, on YouTube. Which was really nice, because, you know, everybody and their brothers got a game movie put together for it and stuff. Yeah. This is really nice. Like, this really goes into it, and I love it. You get the original concept sketches, you get early art stuff, all that good shit. It's a good book. If you're a dedicated, you know, StarCraft fan, this is definitely something you want in your collection, for sure. It's just, it's really good. And I was excited when they showed the cinematics. I was like, oh, I want to play this. And then I saw the actual gameplay, and I was like, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know which one's my favorite out of the StarCraft series, though. I'd say Heart of the Swarm, maybe. I guess. I don't know, because I was just blown away by the cinematic for... Uh, all of it, basically. I mean, the cinematics for all of them were phenomenal. And I was like, damn, like, why in the hell isn't this, like, you know, third person set up, you know? Like, that would be so perfect, but it's not. So, I was pretty disappointed in that. And the amount of detail that went into these shots is phenomenal as well that really got my attention the most because i like the hyper realism and shit go away But yeah, I do like StarCraft. Like, it's a good, it's a good, 
saga. It's a good franchise to get into. Like, if you just want to know what's going on, you know, there's tons of books to catch up on. There's the official Wikipedia page that you can check out. Um, there's tons, there's numerous game movies for this. There's tons of lore videos and channels dedicated to exclusively StarCraft. So, you have to check it all out. Decide what you like the most. Some people like, you know, Wings of Liberty. Some people like Heart of the Swarm. Some like Legacy of the Void. Some just like one character. Some just hate one character. Or whatever. It's whatever they like. That's how it works. That's the beauty of any fandom is that you can like whatever you like without prejudice. Although in this day and age, people want to be fucking idiots. Niggle about it and whatever. I stay away from that shit for the most part. <sighs> Come on, there we go. Some of these pages want to stick together like dumbasses. And it's interesting to see some of these molds that mirror uh, Warcraft as well. And yes, I know they're made by the same company. That's what makes it so interesting. Is that they used original molds and concepts from uh, uh, StarCraft to make Warcraft and vice versa. If I had to pick a favorite character out of this saga, I would definitely go with uh, Nancy Kerrigan. I definitely like her. She's really cool and really badass. I do like Gabriel, though. I just saw this. Because I just got done reading it before I started the video. And I was like, damn, he looks badass. Because I like his hair, I like his stature, and I like his imposing, you know, demeanor. It's really cool. Damn, that's gorgeous zooming in. And given how small, like, let me see. Yeah, that's about how small it is from this distance, but zoomed in, it's so deep and detailed. That's why I say watch it on your TV. Because you'll get that full detail that, you know, <laughs> most people won't show you. As I'll go through, they'll, like I've said numerous times, I'll just skim through and be like, eh, there you go. I'm like, that's not enough. <laughs> Like, you want to see the entire thing. So you can be like, okay, do I get on eBay and try to find this, or do I get on Amazon? Even though eBay is a better choice. Or do you check your library for it, you know? Always check your library. I mean, if you're enjoying this a lot, you know, check your library. See if they got it. And go from there. If they don't, and you really liked it, buy it. Bah. That's one. So... And I also like to apologize, even though I don't have to, but I do want to apologize for taking so long with these book reviews. Because I've been, I've been so busy with writing, and I didn't really give a shit about the books. they kind of been sitting at the foot of my bed, well, at the front of my bed, and just looking at me. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to read it. But now I'm doing them so they get done and get taken back. 
Damn you, Archeus. Don't do it. Jim Rayner. <laughs> you know, fun. there's another fun fact. I was going to buy the StarCraft Funko Pop they had until I saw it. And I was like, eh, I don't need it that bad. Like, it ain't that important. Otherwise, I had my finger on the button for buy it now. And I decided against it because I was like, I don't need it that bad. And that was after I looked at it, like, full detail and shit. I was like, man, I don't need it. But, yeah. So, tonight, I'll be doing a bunch of book reviews and stuff. So, you can get caught up with me. <laughs> Dominion Emperor. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Stupid pages. That's another thing I hate. Always been one of my fucking issues. That's pretty. A lot of these make excellent wallpaper, by the way. So if you just go online, type in like StarCraft wallpaper, there you go. Oh, StarCraft is an interesting franchise to me. Like, it's really cool. But I hate it when the cinematic is so misleading and shit that, you know, you know, you get all that cool action and shit, and then you get the actual gameplay, and it's like, fuck, that sucked. That was like, uh, what was the other one I watched? Ah, Halo Wars. Yeah. That was another one that interested me. I was like, oh, it's so cool. And then RTS. I'm like, fuck that. That's the same way I feel about Gears Tactics when I saw that trailer last night. I'm like, that's nice. Fucking emo JD. <laughs> Even though it's not JD in the cinematic, though. But, like, really? Like, that's how you make an edgy character? And now we are up to the heart of the swarm. But yeah, like, I don't know. And I'm like a dedicated Gears fan, but shit, dude. That's some depressing stuff, honestly. <laughs> Now, some of these are dark pictures like this one, so it won't be as easy to see, but, you know, and there's also the glare from my ceiling light, so I had to turn it on so I could see it better. I was going to use my TV and light, but that wasn't enough just to, you know, show what's going on here, so, I don't know. I don't know. But these designs here, they're phenomenal. I love these. 
I mean, the uh, eidetic memory for the artist involved. Oof, are phenomenal. The texture, the beginning concept, the final concept, the multiple drafts that went through to get approved. <laughs> But this is a fun book because this, you can actually use it and, um, like, on one hand, you can look at it and then you can go back to Warcraft and compare art and stuff to what it looks like. That's pretty fucking awesome. That was an awesome cinematic. I love that. That's cool. Mm. A lot of these I wish they would sell as poster art. Like, damn. And I know a lot of people have gotten tattoos of StarCraft as well. Which is even better, because a lot of them do make great tattoos. Can't deny them facts. And we're almost halfway through the book. A couple more pages, and I'm going to stop, upload, and then come back and do part two. And plus, looking at all these sketches and designs and renders, you can see where other games were influenced by it. <coughs> and movies. Movies, TV, games, all that shit. That's easily influenced by Halo. <laughs> like everything is a copy of itself. Might be original, but, you know, it's still a copy of something else. Wide two-pager. Gotta fight these fucking pages. It's a beautiful sunset. Thankfully, there's not a lot of text in here, but still, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's back and forth with it. there one more page
Come on. There we go. And we are halfway through. So. I'm going to stop here. And I'll be back. Stay tuned.